FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished down 45, NASDAQ up 13, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract uh, flat, 1740 an ounce. We had silver down up, up rather, 4 cents at $19.23 an ounce. Platinum was up $20 at 885 an ounce. Light Sweet Crude up uh, 2 bucks, $104.61 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note, down 17 ticks at 117.23. 30 year off a full point and a half trading out at a price point of uh, 136.31 in King Dollar. King Dollar gave up uh, a bit here. We were down a uh, price point of, why do I keep losing my track here? 176 at 106.959. The euro is at 101. It went to par today. The euro went to par, rejected lower price. Um, the the dollar back down a bit. You got the yen at 136 and the British pound at 120. You have the 10 year right now, folks. The 10 year is yielding 3.08. The high for the last three months is 3.47. The low is 2.6. If we get over and take a look at the S&Ps, um, I suspect what you're going to get, you're going to continue with a little bounce next week. This wasn't a bad setup here, man. Um, you're coming into the swing. The swing, you know, has a volume out here of 86 million. We did 63 today. Uh, you know, yesterday what you did, you did 64. So it's not, not, not bad. Not great, but not bad. NDX is in better shape. You know, if you're going to basically get long this market for a bounce, the, but the NDX is not bad. The NDX today, the three Qs did 55 million. We did 56 yesterday, and the swing only has 54. So it looks to me that you can actually get this, the bounce, and the Qs looks like 314 is game, you know. The, now, the gap is 299.23, you know, so that's going to be a little tricky because that, that gap is where there was a huge amount of sellers. We take a look at the gold market. When you have with the gold market, you had a sideways move out here. What we did do, though, is this. We rejected lower price today at 1726. We finished out at 1740. And if we go over to the dollar, because the dollar is ruling everything, You'll see the dollar index got to a price point of that 107,786 and, and closed 800 ticks lower. So the dollar looks like it's going to back off. And if that's what we get, we'll get a relief inside the S&P. We'll get a relief inside the metals market. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Thanks, man. We'll get them, folks.